today I have a special place for you. It's an hotel that before the hotel was a house of a very rich man, Brazilian man. And this place is just massive, a lot of destruction, but amazing things to see, so stick around. So guys, today we are inside of a house. It was built in 1910. It was a house of a very rich Brazilian man that brought all his wealth from the Brazil and he built this massive place to show people how rich he was. But 20 years after living inside of this place, this place got too big for him. So it turned into like a boarding, boarding house and a few years later into a hotel. On this town there's a lot of tourism and because of the, the, the coastline and beaches and everything. So this place had its ups and downs because of the summer and the winter. But it was very well known hotel. But in 1956 this place closed. And I think it's been abandoned since then. Through the 1780s I think I think more or less 20 years after this place got abandoned they tried to restore it a bunch of times but it never opened. There's a lot of contradictions, I'm going to show you the papers uh, they are on the ground and behind the, the counter, the reception because there's a lot of papers that says 1995 and I don't think that's the right date but there are papers from the hotel so I think I'm going to start the hotel by the reception and show you the first floor down and up so let's start right here as you can see this is our documents from the the telephone and it says right here 1995 September 1995 June 19 oh 1993 1990 something that's the, the letter is just horrible no, I think it's 95. Every every single paper says 95. I don't know if this hotel opened in 1995. Okay, just for an example, this person entered on the 13th of April, 1995. And he uh, signed out, check out, on the 16th of April. And he's uh, rented like a, a double bedroom. But, oh, and this person was from Madrid, Spain. Wow. He rented a double room for three days. You see two people. And yeah, I don't know if these papers are right, but there's a lot on the ground. And this is the reception. I'm just gonna put this on the floor. This is the reception. There's not much interesting things on the reception, but this beautiful counter is really cool. Really, really cool. It's really vintage, really old. And yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of just papers on the ground, destruction. A lot of people have been here and just trashed the place. As you can see, there's graffitis everywhere. You're gonna see some rooms with full graffiti. It's sad. And not just that, but decay on this hotel, it's crazy. The decay is really, really crazy. As I was walking upstairs, I was just stepping on the the ceiling the plaster it's all falling off in here you can even see the wall and yeah this was the front door this is the front door still all destroyed half of the ceiling it's just collapsed but i love this color tile not typical for portuguese people but it's really beautiful and that's the downstairs we're gonna go there in a second but the crazy thing that I love about this place it's the furniture it's old vintage furniture and it's really cool really amazing we're gonna see oh and he has marble <laughs> uh, we're gonna see uh, 
a lot of furniture like this inside of the hotel. Really cool. So, this is the hall, the main hall of the hotel. It's a big hall, as you can see. And right as you enter, you see this graffiti sign. I think it's the only one that is for our safety because there's no there's no ground anymore and ceiling literally everything is just hanging by a thread and i think it's leaking up there so we have to be careful in the upper floor but yeah in some areas this is really really dangerous so yeah, we have to be really careful on this hotel. That's why I was saying like, this hotel has a lot of decay. It's a lot, a lot. So, I think hom homeless people sleep in here, or slept because of the mattresses. But, as I already told you, a lot of graffiti all over the walls. And it's, it's a bit sad because this room, it was one of the most beautiful rooms, I think. Just look at the ceiling, the details, how they make these details with plaster. It's just incredible. Uh, half of the ceiling, uh, the ceiling, the plaster has fallen off, but still beautiful. And yeah, let's keep going. This one, I'm not gonna enter. Obviously, everything is falling off. And we have to be really careful up there because it's literally collapsing. But yeah, there's the stairs. Let's just keep going. My sister just pointed out that I was missing the number on the doors. This floor had like 10 rooms, so this is 10. And this is the, the, le uh, the, the floor, so it's the first floor. So down, down there, it's zero and the numbers. So we have to look out for that, that's cool. Okay, more furniture. This looks like more modern furniture. Really beautiful wardrobe, but the ceiling it's not good at all. Just, just looking at this, it's like a giant hole. Looks like a black hole, like it's safe to be like beside it, but wow. And that, that curtain just perfectly hanging there and the, the AC that thing crazy whoa okay I'm gonna turn off my light just for you to see what I'm seeing this is beautiful I've been here with Explomo we took photos of this place but we didn't record it but wow Look at that decay. Some decays are really bad, but I don't know why I love that decay on that corner. Just the lamp, the, the mirror. I think it's safe, so I'm just gonna go to here. Wow. I really like it. And that curtain like half hanging, half not, and this these bed frames, just really cool, just a cool scenery in general, wow, and yeah, this hotel was abandoned with almost uh, every furniture, because of course this is a hotel, doesn't have like clothes or anything on the wardrobes, but it has the pillows, the towels and everything, let me show you 
one bathroom. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my god. Okay, I will show you another bathroom. This this bathroom is disgusting. But yeah. Really cool beds. Really cool curtain. Really like that curtain. And yeah. The number on this door, it's creepy as shit. More bed frames. Okay, this bathroom. It's like the ceiling collapsed. Yeah, the ceiling collapsed, but... You can still see the how it was. Old bathrooms only have bathtubs, so yeah, this is one of them. This this room, it was so perfect, except those two graffitis, like. And he is the same person. You see that? It's the same as that. Like why? But yeah, curtain perfectly hanged on this side we have another double bedroom this one has a lot of more decay on this side of the hotel has a lot of more decay but look at the ceiling I love that thing that hold the lamp it was no it, that, that, that's the chandelier the lamp was put right there I don't know if I can show you Oh, it's scrappers took the thing out, but yeah, you put right there the lamp. It's just old stuff. Whoa, and this is a big wardrobe, really big one. Until now, I've seen smaller ones, but this is big. Two bedroom. Yeah, what's that? The, the black dripping yeah yeah this is from the the black that's on the walls you can see it uh, I think it's time to tell the rest of the story so in 2006 happened a fire in one of the rooms that I'm gonna show you now no one knows if it was a homeless person or some kid that come in here and graffiti this place and burned down but this room burned down and it's in really really bad shape as you can see the ceiling is all black this every room has a color this was beige and the ceiling it's now just black and it, as you can see the painting on the door it's just peeling off just crazy how this place burned down just one room the the hotel didn't burn all down thank god but i'm not gonna risk it on this room of course just gonna film it through here there's a lot of cats that have been in here you see the paws on these love seats they used to be red love seats but now they're just this weird color this room has a lot of the dripping Ugh. it's crazy and more graffiti and this is the front of the hotel I'm gonna show you better the front of the hotel but that's the front and you see the dark dark line let me he was th this room was like a beige it looks like a rose on the, the screen but I, I, I assure you it's like a beige and it has the him. all black around all the corners let me show you this dark room first oh there's a dead cat on the floor not gonna film that oh that's disgusting I, I can't even look at it but it's a single bedroom really destroyed the ceiling as you can see on the floor have all fallen off Perfectly hang curtains, really beautiful. And yeah. 
106. So this was the farthest on the hotel. Okay, this is an empty room, but two windows. Until now we have seen one window. And this bathroom is looking okay. I think it's the most okay bathroom I've seen on the hotel. Really cool. Oh! You can even see the hotel has two stars and it's written in Portuguese, French, English and German. The prices for this was 15, oh my god, I need to show you that. Was 15,360 euros. This, uh, euros not, uh, it's the old coin of Portugal. But it's... Uh, how much is this t it today? I don't know, I was going to see that. <laughs> okay, see that, just to see the the small i think this is a, a a single bedroom so of course the prices are different nowadays but for a single bedroom that that was a lot i think for a two star hotel okay, so my sister just look it up and is uh, 76.62 euros 76 euros so okay 76 it's it's ex expensive for just one people yeah. this this corridor it's really really huge and i love that light i took a photo of raymond on that light perfect it's really beautiful and let's see the last room i don't need my light for this and it's just a mattress with a wardrobe and uh Kind of weird curtain <laughs> hanging, but yeah. Let's see the other side. We didn't see that side. Okay, so on this side we have some furniture. I don't know if this was supposed to be here or not, but because of that closed door, it means that the hotel was on that side. This is, was. Uh, something other other things like beside me it's the stairway and on that side is the kitchen I'll show you in a second and this here too it's a little bit more destroyed but the drawers when it's missing and I think I'm going to show you the kitchen first and this kitchen is just destroyed literally Sorry if on this video I'm stepping on a lot of glass or things, but the floor is just, as you can see, it's full of things. I, I don't know if I can walk properly, so if I step on something, you know why. This is where they prepare the dishes. That thing was to put like the plates, the, the cups and sink. I think that that's just a pantry, yeah, a small pantry. Be careful because the kitchen is flooded. You see on the ground? The, the ground. It's marble. That thing, marble. This thing. Marble. Yeah. Marble everywhere. <laughs> no, but yeah, this is a old typical kitchen. As you can see, fridge with two doors, we call in Portugal American fridges because normally it's just one door, so two doors, American fridge. Really, really old stone oven. Wooden, wooden oven. This is to put wood in. I think he has... If I could open it. Okay, I've tried to open this thing, but it doesn't open. He has wood inside, I, I barely can show you, but he has wood inside. Just more porcelain things, broken things, and yeah, big sinks. Let me show you just this part, that part, it's the, the coffee space, the breakfast, and down there is the restaurant place, the, like the fancy part, so stick around to see that, really cool. But for now, let's see the rest up here. There's a lot to cover in here. Okay. 
and this is one of the most beautiful rooms on the entire hotel I don't know if you can see proper on the camera that's carbon wood that's not plaster or anything it's just carved wood and it's all around Oi. there's a fire thing and it's all around this whole ceiling it's just beautiful I'm looking at the screen and it's just beautiful everything in here wood wood and I think this was like a ballroom a, a space I don't think this is the like the cafeteria area or the, the, the dining room because the dining room it's on the other side I will show you in the end but this is kind of a ballroom I think just a living space living room common space it's full of feathers on the ground some birds oh my god 92 92 a lot of 92 92 I think it's all 92 yeah 92 92 okay 92 it's weird really weird the graffiti ruins a bit the beauty of the of the room but we have to deal with it but it's 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 a really beautiful room take a look at the center where they put the chandelier it's just so so many details i wish i could just look that up that closely it's just so much detail and so beautiful it's just incredible on this room i just want to look at it just like that and you know what's the final piece just a chair on the middle that's beautiful i need to take pictures of this of this room so going upstairs this is the second floor i think it's the last one the other one is just a the other one is just a tower but this is strange what don't tell me this is a room it's just come see it's just a bedroom and a mini wardrobe Tiny. Yeah, really tiny. It looks like a secret room. I was trying to ask my sister for the number, but this door th doesn't have a door and it doesn't have a number, so this is just destroyed. This, uh, these are creepy rooms because it, that's a bedroom, but it's the bathroom here. I don't understand it, but that's the hotel let's see that part we have to be really careful everything in here is falling and it's been raining so this love seat is just destroyed and the ceiling oh my god they put this door here for us to step on it because there's a gigantic hole down there so one at a time You definitely can see that. Damn. Okay, let's start on this bedroom. This this actually look pretty nice. Not vandalized at all. Doesn't have a graffiti. But I feel the floor like not straight. It has like bumps. But yeah, it's just a simple room. Whoa, let's not go in much, but you you see that you you can see that it's literally falling and upstairs too. <laughs> what the hell? It's another like the other, and yeah, this hotel has a lot of as you can see secret doors, secret spaces, I think it's for storage or for just uh, pipes or whatever but it's weird because he has those things on the bedrooms oh, this bedroom it's... sometimes I love the decay 
on this on these rooms it's just crazy and this hallway it's really cool like for example I don't like this decay it's not nice just the ceiling falling off and it's a lot like the others it has this thing looks like a carpet handmade carpet don't know what I remember seeing this but this is so so weird like yeah. who sleeps in here this is a room it doesn't have a number but yeah it doesn't have a number so I don't think it's a room but who sleeps in here this is so tiny like literally that's the ceiling I'm not gonna go in because I don't know if you can see properly on the camera but it's falling just <laughs> just weird and this is the the light that's coming in on the corridor down there as you can see it's open another double bedroom same furniture as downstairs but I don't I don't know why but this rooms upstairs seems more modern in my opinion I don't know and this is a creepy corridor 211 a single bedroom let's just see the overall because they are all the same this one is blue this one 210 it's a room not just a room I think it's uh, two rooms this was the child's room and this was the the master bedroom but it's oh it's raining I was gonna say that this is really really destroyed as you can see really destroyed there's a secret door down there too and the ceiling is just collapsed but on this ceiling I don't know if I can show you properly but it's raining it's raining on top of the the bed I don't know if you can hear the, the raindrops but hey, I didn't tell you the whole history so this hotel uh, in two one one year I think it was in 2007 but I'm not sure but one year after the fire the town hall try to make this thing property of public interest so you can get renovated this room is just collapsed and this room it's collapsed too the ceiling is really bad it was a single room beautiful light coming in the smoke detector is just hanging and there's like this door it's I know it's for storage but it's weird because it's literally on a room so how do you gonna get to the storage if it's on a room that's rented it's just weird but yeah for the rooms upstairs it's this so the town hall actually got this place considered property of public interest around that time 2007 I think and in 2017 they had a project or something to rebuild this place to put this place back to life and they were actually gonna do it people believe there this place was gonna be renovated but as you see they didn't do anything it's just abandoned for good so yeah I don't know if they can recover this hotel it's because of the weird shape that the hotel is in and the state of decay but Let's just go downstairs and be really, really careful. That exit sign though, it's really, really old. Really cool to see. I was thinking of going up there, but it, it's too dangerous and it's just falling. Let's just go downstairs and see the rest downstairs because this is really dangerous. I don't know if you can see, but that wardrobe, it's literally tilted, so I'm just gonna go downstairs. 
okay down here I think we have a lot of things to see so let's just keep going this massive freezer in the middle of the this scary corridor this this hotel at night is really really scary I bet this hotel at night it's fucking scary oh damn this is the room where everything collapsed the room was full of chairs and tables from outside this is the other side of the collapsed room and as you can see the numbers 013 I don't know how much rooms this downstairs had but these rooms are full with furniture okay I talked too soon this one doesn't have anything oh and this room is destroyed by people and naturally I want to see this cupboard I really want to see help me put this thing on the place Okay, I don't know if you saw, but we just put this back because I wanted to see it. Because it's, it's weird. It's the only furniture that's different. You see that this design wood in the wardrobe too. It's cool. The mirror is broken because this thing fall. But yeah, let's see the last rooms. Okay, this is just more furniture okay I think this is the rooms where you rent like a room okay. this is like those places you rent a room like a double room and the rest of the of the beds are from like sofa beds but yeah. this is like wardro wardrobe beds this is weird yeah. This is really weird. Like the beds are inside of the wardrobe. It's for children, of course, it's a small bed, but it's weird. Oh, and I see a dead cat on the floor. Don't look at it. Don't look. Oh my god. So, on this floor is just a bed frame, and this doesn't have anything. Weird chandelier, but yeah, I think this is all from the oh no we have the office let's let's see the office okay very old chandeliers through all this corridor yeah very old and very rusty i think this is more bedrooms what this is yeah more bedrooms number one this is the number two yes two but oh whoa a lot of chairs the ceilings are just simple ceilings not that much things oh this kind of nice Okay, and I think this is the office, the main office, because as you can see, not just a lot of papers, but a lot, a lot, a lot of papers, all the documents from the hotel are in this cabinet, and this is the desk of the owner, really cool, more dossiers down there with papers yeah look what this is like the service room oh yeah you put the number of the room right there and you like put the price of the things that people order really cool oh this is the numbers of the rooms like on the floor that we are right now it's 14 so he has 14 rooms first floor 10 rooms second floor 13 rooms 
really cool. First. Okay, so this is the dining area, like the, the lounge area when, where you just relax these tables. These green things that you see on the tables is to play cards. It's for the cards not to slide. And this is the bar. A wooden bar, really cool. And this is a really, it's destroyed, but it's a really old cash register. And a big coffee machine. But I love this style, it's different. Really cool. A lot of tables. I love these chairs with these things. Oh, and the light is really beautiful. But I don't know if that's graffiti or not, but that's a beautiful painting. I think that's that was there before, but really beautiful still. And from here, this is the view from outside the back of the hotel. Really cool. Whoa. <laughs> beautiful chandelier. Really beautiful chandelier. But this is the room that I love the most. Uh, except the other one, but this is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Everything is wood. It doesn't make echo because it has carpet on the floor. And just everything, the chairs, the Christmas tree, the ceiling, everything, even the light coming in, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful light. This wooden thing, it's really beautiful. I think it's unique in a kind of way. And this stained glass, almost intact. There's just one broken right there, the red one, but really cool. Really cool. I love these these lights. They are kind of weird, but kind of funky. I don't know. They look very vintage and very 80s. Yeah, this is the kitchen. Nature is start to enter the building. Wow. Big freezer, really cool. Another one, and and that that's this room just pulls me away. It's really cool. If you don't follow me on Instagram, consider checking it out. Shkesich dot forgotten. In there, I post all my abandoned photography work, and also check out my personal Instagram where I post portraits, self-portraits, and other work without being abandoned, so go check it out. Thanks.
So I hope you guys liked this video. It was crazy to see this hotel like it is, like in the state of decay and with all things in it, you can see like this room. It's, it's really beautiful. It's a really beautiful hotel. I think they should do something with this place. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this place and what they should do with this place or just leave it abandoned. Leave your opinions down in the comments. So if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up on this video. Subscribe down below if you're not already and ring the bell notification to get notified every time I post. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Like for example, behind me, it's the set stairway to heaven. Okay, we'll repeat. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Do you know what plaster is? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm learning new words. For someone that. Oh my god. I'm feeling spider webs again. The painting on the wall. On the wall. On the, the door. Damn it. But yeah, really beautiful. Oh my god, look at that spider. Look at the spider. Maybe she knows where my SD card is. <laughs> Ask her. Okay, yeah, this this is going to the bloopers, but this is not bloopers. Just want to say this is the third time we are on this hotel. I've I lost my SD card somewhere in here or on the disco club. You're gonna see in the few videos with all these photos and videos. So I'm recording it again, and my sister has the spider on her. And I'll see you. Focus, focus, focus on me. How do you open this thing? Supposedly it's just trying to fix things. <laughs> yeah. You look shitty. It's really old vintage furniture. It's old vintage. I'm not gonna show you that room because it smells like piss. I hope you guys like this video and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.